Hey everyone, Sir Terrible here again, and today we're back with more Scuff Hotel videos, and this time we're playing Lulu Jin's Aggro. So this is an eternal deck right here. Since we're able to play Lulu, we're also able to play Spirit Portal and main deck Get Excited. That's why you don't see any blowbacks in this version of the list. Uh, and obviously the whole idea with this deck is very similar to like Lulu uh, to Jin's Cannon that we can play in standard, and it's just have this very aggressive discard aggro list that can just push so much pressure and so much damage into the opponent that there's nothing that they can do about all this pressure and all this burn that you can follow up with. And honestly, it's kind of it's kind of a little bit sad to be honest. It's kind of a little bit sad that the best discard deck is with Bandle City, and now we're not just anymore. Do you all remember the days of Draven Jin's? Those were the good days, but yeah, I mean the best partner for Jens is definitely Bandle City and this deck kind of proves exactly that able to compete in both Eternal and Standard just changing a few cards here and there So that's what we're gonna showcase today. Hope you enjoy the gameplays. We even have a full blinged out deck today We have like the, the Star Guardian skins for both champions the Star Guardian board So hope you enjoy that. I, you know, you know what happened to me guys? Like two weeks before Riot announced competitors shutting down, I had bought like a hundred dollars worth of coins. So now I'm sitting on like seven thousand coins that I have no idea what to do. So so that's why I just randomly bought the skin on the board. But anyways, hope you all enjoy. If you do, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post LOR videos and other card games every single day. Enjoy the games and I'll see you at the end for some mulligan tips and in-depth breakdown. In this match, we got against Elise and Elder Dragon. They do have a lot of units to uh, be able to block with. We have a pretty crazy hand here though, right? Burr, Boom Baboon, Lulu, Spirit Portal on the Chumpers and get value that way. Okay, I like this. I do indeed like this. I don't even mind if the, if the Shime goes into the Boom Baboon because then it makes the Boom Baboon a blocker into their Escape Abomination, right? So this will be a blocker for, like if the opponent gets the crazy curve, I guess the opponent, opponent doesn't have the attack token on 2. Opponent has the attack token on 3, so what could happen instead is that the opponent could actually... Opponent could actually look to... To play the curse, the, uh, the challenger one, right? So they could, be, they could be looking to play the challenger one. I think I still like going wide here, even if the opponent does that. If they have the, I, they could also have Biofish, right? Biofish could be a problem. Elise here would be annoying. Okay, that's not an Elise. We'll go here, wish for damage. There was a lot of punishes there for the develop, but I do also know that the opponent plays Curse Keepers and Fading Icons. So if, unle unless he was the least, I don't think it was going to be that many punishes. Yes. Now, again, the opponent could have the... Um, opponent could have the Challenger one for next turn. Now, we did tap out. We tapped out of being able to go Lulu, Spirit Portal into the Chumpers. So I'm actually... Oh, they actually also give me the Prey. That's huge. That's actually huge. So they don't have the Challenger there, right? I'm debating just doing Spirit Portal Chumpers without Lulu. Oh yeah, especially now that we have the Bell Ringer, this is an easy answer. So we can go Bird, Baboon, go Spirit Portal, drag the Fading Icon, force the opponent to have to give me like a Haste Spike, right? Yeah. Uh, this is potentially gonna hit one, I guess it could also hit the Chumpers, the Champ could hit the Chumpers. If they have Balfis, I mean, we are in Eternal, so Balfis is like really the annoying one here. Because we haven't buffed our units. But if they didn't use Balfis now, then we should be okay. Don't hit the Chumpers. Okay, cool. Because now we just go like this. And the opponent's gonna be very sad. I'm actually gonna he go ahead and just challenge this one, to be honest. I guess he lets the opponent block here. 3, 6, 9. I'm okay with this. I'm okay just pulling the blocker away. I can also just go ahead, because I kind of want to keep these Chumpers for the Lulu. Yeah, I kind of want to keep the Chumpers for the Lulu, but maybe it is worth it to keep this Baboon. I'm assuming that the opponent has like a Death Grass or a Haste Spike to kill this anyways. 
especially with how they're blocking. Yeah, so they're just gonna go for so 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 this was always gonna die no matter what, right? At least we get to keep the chumpers alive, which I, again is more valuable than keeping a three two alive. Um, we do have this gins. If we get a one drop next There's turn, nothing to fear. and we have blockers for Elise as well, so chilling. I am chilling. I guess we can go Lulu and get Chumpers, right? Lulu and... Uh, actually, I've actually gonna get excited right away. Uh, the opponent could have the Challenger right here. Yeah, the Caretaker. And that's exactly what ended up happening. We'll go ahead and... Mm, do I actually just want to burn them out? I think we still go for this. I think we still go for this here. Keep myself both Chumpers. One of them can sacrifice into the abomination, the other one can go at the caretaker. One of can kill these two units here. Yeah, they're gonna kill these two units. We still have to push three damage. Oh, that's a mistake. You don't wanna do that. You don't wanna do that. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> I, I, it's, a, it's a free block for me. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. So otherwise, I would have just went ahead and pushed the 7 damage, right? Yep, so we go like this. So my concern here is that we're just still we're still losing to too many things. Right? Like, at this point, the opponent's day who endure is way too big. Yeah, their day, their day who endure is going to be huge. But I guess they don't have it here? No, there's no way. Just play Dehu and Dora and just try to win the game next to me. Two spells. They have two spells. Ooh, they went for a glimpse. They have... You know what it means? I think the opponent has a death grasp. I think this means that the opponent has a death grasp and they just I'm decided that they didn't want to use it. I don't bite. So I'm actually just going to play this out slow. I'm not gonna play the chumpers now in case that I in case that I get a card that requires me to discount. Oh okay, they got bow. That's what you had instead. Okay, cool. Yeah, in case that I get a card that requires me to discard, let's keep these chumpers in my hand. Okay, we didn't get it. But we can still level up this gins and at least get the rocket value. Regardless of what happens here. Right? Four Six, seven, eight. So, they who endure, the opponent has their big baddies that can get challenger cards, right? Okay. Uh, tiny spear or tiny shield? Remind me, this was buff. I guess we can go tiny shield and make sure that this is not dying to a. Death Grasp? I guess it will die to a Death Grasp if the opponent does it right away. So, I don't think it's worth it for us to play the gens and save the... Unless the opponent... If the opponent taps out of 3 mana here, then we're fine. Yeah, they have the... If they get Challenger here, that's not really annoying. They always get it. So I wouldn't... Yeah, so if we had gotten Tiny Spear here, we would have been so fine. Because we could have put this to 4 power and been able to go for the rocket to kill this and everything else. The opponent is also going to keep this Elise alive, unfortunately. So 2 rockets is 6 damage. We're still 4 damage away. So even if we top they could get excited, that's not enough. Yeah, so the opponent, the opponent realized what I'm trying to do, right? The opponent realized what I'm trying to do, so that's why they went for it that way. Um, I think I'm down to go here. And, um... Hmm, we can grab, grab... Grab with both, but we're already grabbing here. I, I only need to do one damage, right? Because the rocket will take care of the rest. So maybe we actually grab the bouncer ball. We grab the bouncer ball and just challenge, challenge. 
Yeah, at this point, we just need to try to find us the damage that we can. We can challenge. Like, the opponent should not have gens. I'm, I'm making it super obvious that I have gens here. My concern is if they get the... If they get the heal, it's a problem with their sit drops. It's crazy how we got all the two. Yeah, so if they get the heal here, that's gonna be annoying. They're gonna start pushing a lot of damage next turn, so we're gonna have to start working. We, we only have like two turns to finish this game. And even that is probably pushing it. Probably more like one, right? Because after the next turn, the opponent's gonna have access to Atrocity. So, we're gonna go like this, then, right? <sighs> Lulu is always gonna die. We get another score. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I guess this doesn't matter, right? No matter how we pull. Yeah, the opponent gets the heal. Yeah, so no matter how we pull, the opponent's always gonna push damage. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter, so I guess we might as well just go here. Opponent has this challenger here, so maybe that's the one that we want to kill. Yeah, maybe we just kill this challenger. I guess we can also go like this. Like, do we just give do we just give everything up at this point? Do we just give everything up at this point and just say screw it? Honestly, I'm fine with that because if the opponent blocks with Elise on one of these two, we still get to get the value from the rocket. I'm, again, I'm making it very obvious that I have chance, right? So I'm making it very obvious here that I have chance. Yeah, so you're gonna block there. We get the opponent to nine. So technically, the opponent's in lethal range if we get. I'm 100% sure they have a second death grass though. They have to have it. They have to have it. There's no way they don't have it. They could have a second arbiter and that could be a problem. Yeah, so let's just play the rocket here. Let them play their death grass. Kill my gins. And then we're going to be at the mercy of top deck in a second. As it, as it stands right now, we could actually have get excited top deck to win the game next turn. Because the opponent is going to go to 6 here. Get it side and we'll take them to three and it will give us the rocket to take them to zero. So we can clear their bore. And then the opponent is still pushing quite a bit of damage. If you don't have it, this is gonna be a problem for you. You have to have the death grass. Okay, so they must not have it. Uh if I can top deck, get it sided, right? So we main deck get it sided, and we also have the chance. If we don't top deck, get it. Actually, even if we top deck, it's probably not enough because the opponent's gonna have access to Bay Huin Door here, right? Now it's a party. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, they're gonna have access to Bay Huin Door here. So it doesn't. It doesn't even matter. Because we're gonna take this eight damage from the overwhelming unit and five from the scuttle. You have to attack now. I guess, again, unless you have Deidu. If you have Deidu Endure, you're always winning. Yeah, if you have Deidu Endure, you're always winning. So, this doesn't really matter. Question is, they also have Atrocity, right? So, I have to give them this block. And that still puts them down enough to kill us. Yeah, sure. You just need to have another big body into Atrocity and you win the game. Well, let's force you to have it. So let's force you to have the big body into Atrocity. I had to lose the gins, because otherwise I just lose anyways to Atrocity. Opponent goes down to three, at four. My open attack would take it down to one. So then we're still at the mercy of top deck in any burn. Maybe they decide to just rig the Atrocity right here. What a weird game. Those two battle fees actually ended up mattering. Huh? Again, opponent could also just draw the heal. Right? There you are. Okay. We still want to open attack and get them down to three in case that we top deck get excited. 
Yeah, so in case that we top deck get excited, we have to steal open attack. But they're saplings! But they're saplings! And, uh, alright. We the top deck it or we don't? Still losing to atrocity if the opponent has any unit here. Life is the rain that splits the skies. Oh boy. Okay. So they have one car left. Ooh, they have one car left. Get excited? Okay, it's not a get excited, but it's almost as good. Yeah, this is this is that, that's a that's pretty good. Uh, we should have just done it. Uh, honestly, we should have just done it. Yeah, we'll go like this. Yeah, we should have just done it right away that in case of the opponent... Well, that's not true, because yeah, so this this should give us the out. We should have done it, we should have done it like this to begin with, in case that we get the gents as well, by the way. We didn't need to have the other one. So this is the atrocity that the opponent needs to do. Okay, so there's some burn. I think we just go like this, right? We just go like this, and then we just go second harpoon. Yeah, the sequence there was a little bit wrong by us, but we ended up getting lucky at the opponent. Opponent did have the atrocity, like we talked about. That's why we had to sacrifice that gens. Yeah, so we just go like this, and that's game. That experimenter saved the game. That's why experimenter can be so good in this deck. Exactly for this reason. So, <laughs> GG's opponent. That was an interesting game. GG's. In this match, we went against Senna and Danny. So the fact that I see Shadow House is a little bit concerning, right? Because the opponent could be playing like, uh, I guess like Balfies, right? And down to throw this Pokey Stick away. I like the Jins early on. We have the Sonic Urchin to discard anything that we get here. Um, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm actually not gonna play this Vol Ringer just yet. We probably should have gone for the Jury Rig first, by the way, before we went for these Chumpers. I'm not gonna play the Bell Ringer so that I can try to make it so that the Jinx is the one that comes down. Uh, the one that gets the, the, the Shine. Okay. We can leave the Spirit Portal for the... Okay, so that's the Balfies again. We, we kind of expected that to happen, right? But when it still takes 2 damage. We can kill the Balfies with the Spirit Pool next time. Oh, please hit this gen. Oh, That's not fun. I guess we'll go like this, to be honest. Let's just go Poke Stick on it. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, this is not bad. So we can go Boom Ba Boom. Ooh, you know what I'm concerned about? I'm concerned about Well. Let's say that the opponent has like a wet. Like if they they have to do it before the spirit portal comes down. So like we can go chumpers first, right? Kind of lets me play around well a little bit. The well still kills two units. Okay, so it's not a well exactly, but it's still kind of like an annoying. And then we just go like this. When it still takes ten damage. Okay. They're playing Go Hard though, right? So now we know that the opponent's playing Go Hard. They're gonna get Go Hard again next turn. Um, so they're gonna be able to continue pushing this damage. We could go Withering Miss. We know that the opponent can play Go Hard, right? Uh, they, they're gonna have Withering Miss again for next turn, by the way. I want them to play. The, okay, so they're not gonna play it right now. So they're gonna just play. They're just gonna play the withering miss next turn and just call it, which I guess is fair. We can level up gents here. If we go get it sighted and play everything else that I have. Yeah, so we know they have a withering miss, right? So they're gonna go up to 17. The concern here is that I don't want to... I think we give it to them. Oh, I, you know what? We don't level up the gins unless we play everything else first. Alright, why don't we just attack? Why don't we just attack? 
get them down. The opponent goes for the withering miss. We get to kill the Annie. Maybe we could have put this Jerry Rick down. Okay, so I know you have the withering miss, so just give it to me. They're gonna have another heal. Literally, they have all the heal in the world, right? So they have all the healing in the world. I'm just gonna pass. Okay, there it is. Yeah, so I'm gonna pass because this is what we want to do, right? We want to be able to get this gents level up. Uh, we're gonna go here, go here. Now the opponent's gonna get another. We don't get the rocket here, unfortunately. The opponent gets another one of the deep spell. Or the toss spell, right? They're gonna know they're of the undergrowth. So they can go undergrowth plus go hard here to get rid of this. No, actually, they need one more car, right? They could also just have them straight up. Okay, we got another gen, so we're just good gamers like this. Okay, so um, let's see what the opponent does. Yeah, if the opponent is looking to just flock this, then I think we just straight up play gens. Yeah, we'll go like this. The opponent is going to flock. Now, they do have the end. They do have the option of having a second flock here, right? If they go flock, if they go like flock into yes, undergrowth, oh, so. undergrowth into flock, then that would be a problem. Yeah, that's why that's why I just waited, right? That's why I didn't do the get excited. I just waited. So they, we know they have the undergrowth, right? So they're gonna go undergrowth. Then they're gonna get the flock next turn because of the uh, catalog. So they'll be able to just do it that way and kill the gins. So we'll have to just get the rocket first before we do anything else. Maybe I should just pass again and just let them play that undergo first. The opponent is going to also get this guy here. Okay, so at least we get the rocket. Yeah, so we'll get the rocket here. Plus, we'll get another another card. Uh, I mean, we have a bunch of chumpers, so te technically this could actually push the most damage. We get rid of the opponent has to go for flock here. Okay, they didn't go for flock just yet. Let's go for the rocket. We can override this. They're holding on to this flock. Guess I'm the big guns now. What if we just pass? What if we just pass and well, okay. If they flock here, this is Three, four, five, six, seven. We have exactly seven, right? So we have exactly seven, no matter what. We have to go. We have to go with this way because the opponent can obviously flock this. Yeah, I know. I know you have the flock, but this is still lethal based on my math. Because we have the chompers to pull the blockers away, right? So we can go like this. And there's gonna be eight. And that's game. Opponent had to use the flock there because otherwise we would have gotten the spell shield. Okay. And we got there. So even with all their healing, right? We have two withering mists, we had two bow hearts, we have the, the double uh, undergrowth, and we still was able to somehow make it there. So healing is a fake counter against aggro. So GG's. In this match, we're going against Jasu and Katarina. And I'm kind of excited to try out Jasu Katarina again. It's on my list to try out a few. A few days from now, but right now we're gonna try to kick their butt. So uh, I think we get rid of the experimenter. I like the baboon a lot. I like the baboon a lot. Let's see if we can find our Lulu, right? Because that's what we want, right? We want this Lulu here. We have the whole uh, Star Guardian bling going on over here. So. I am the sea moon okay. wind. Push. Mm. I guess we might as well just go here. <laughs> I think it's fine to go ahead and do this because the is not gonna have this blocker, right? This blocker is gonna get sent back to the opponent's deck. So I think I'm fine to just kind of go super aggressive here, go boom, boom, boom. Have three units to attack with. Yeah, we'll go like this. We can discard this with the squeaker next turn. I'm gonna tell the opponent if you wanna block, this is fine, right? So now this is gonna be vulnerable to a pokey stick. So now this is vulnerable to a pokey stick. Uh, we also have this Electro Harpoon, right? So we can do it either way. That's a huge hit. 
That's a huge hit. Um, do we go here? Or honestly, do we just go here? I think I actually prefer to just go on the big one. It sounds weird. But it means that the opponent has one less blocker right now, so the opponent's gonna have to give me something else, right? Zigged. Zigged. Now, we could go Spirit Portal, but we don't really have a lot of things here that I wanna go with the Spirit Portal. I, I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna develop. I'm still gonna develop, have the opponent hero. try to give me cards. We know they could have stuns. I guess if they have Concussive Pound, this ends up being a little bit worse for us. The Spirit Portal is going to be really good for later. No going back. That's kind of annoying. Because that's going to be able to get rid of one of my units. I guess, are we, should we just get rid of this Katarina then? There's two ways we can do this. We can go Tiny Spear here. Or we can go... Because if I, if I kill her with Chompers, she's going to level up, right? Do I care if she levels up, I guess? Maybe I actually don't care. Maybe we just go like this. Maybe we just go like this and just have a bunch of units in the field. Let them kill one of these two ones. We'll let her level up. Right? So we're pushing 4 damage. We go down to 11. Your Katarina levels up. But like every time they play it's Katarina, that's one less unit that they have to block with. Like I'm just trying to have this Jinx come down and level up. And it's not better, right? Violence solves everything. Solves everything. We can go Trump, Trump, Thatcher. We can start getting rid of this Shaman Ring with the Pokey Stick, but again, I don't think it's even necessary to be honest. Hello. Okay, well, that's kind of annoying. That's a little bit of a different problem. So we'll go here, just so that we have a way to block this Tasty Poke. Um, hmm. we can level up Jens. We can level up the gems, right? Or... I guess we... Um, no, we will have to use both things. We will have to use both things, so that doesn't seem very good for us. The other option is that we can just go ahead and attack right now. I have this spirit portal come down. So let me think about this. If we go four... Yeah, we can level up gems, but we won't get the rocket. Is that worth it? I don't know that it is. We could also just go Gents here and just go Spirit Portal Scrap Head. I'm not opposed to this. The opponent gets to kill this for free. Yeah, maybe we just go here, just go Spirit Portal. Or we can just level up Gents. This is kind of pushing more damage though. So that's the only reason that I like it better. Yeah, like, I feel like this is pushing more damage, so, uh... Let's just go here. Who are you? He also defends me against the Blaze Edge, right? So the opponent has to give me the Katarina, they have to have a stun. So they have to give me the stun, and they have to stun this guy over right here. I'm guessing they have flock, right? So this is telling me that they have a flock. This I should have I should have actually kept the pokey stick by the way. Okay. I should have kept wait. Oh never mind. They, I guess they just didn't realize that this guy got buffed by the health. Yeah, this buffs attack and health, right? So I guess they didn't realize that he got buffed, right? I'll take that. <laughs> Yeah, so here we just have the Jinx Rocket, right? So we can go here. We can play the Scrap Heck, get the Jinx Rocket, and we still have another unit on top of it. And now the opponent's gonna be able to heal. They have to attack. They have to attack right now. If they don't attack, you lose to the Rocket. Oh, okay. Never mind. I guess the opponent just decided that it's okay to just lose to the Jinx. We're doing it! Get the Star Guardian level up here. We didn't get the Lulu though, but we got to do just Jinx shenanigans. And then we go Rocket, and Pony doesn't even let me do it, and does the game. Yeah, so so that that is one weakness that the Katarina Gasworth deck has. Like, your blockers 
like Katarina. Your units like Katarina and the Bastion just end up bouncing back to your hand, so you end up not actually getting like value from them. So, GG's. In this match, we're gonna get scaling the team. Um, hmm. I mean, the flash bombs are kind of annoying, aren't they? So, the flash bombs are annoying. The Teemo is obviously very annoying, so I think I actually have to keep this Electro Harpoon. Uh, I guess we I guess we don't have it in the discard fodder, so this is actually probably a mistake. Yeah, now we're in a situation where we have all these discard cards, but not the, not like discard fodder. So it kind of puts me like in a really after spot. Uh, we will be taking that team of pop caps right away, right? We also could get Pokey Stick. I do think it's correct for us to try to kill this team right away. So I think I like really really want to kill this team. The other option is that I can just go really aggressive here. So you just go like this. Opponent's gonna have to have the two drop. Ah, okay, well I guess they have a two drop, right? They do have a two drop. Apparently they're playing Snow Doggy. I don't know why, but apparently they are. We still get to push four damage. We need to just aggro them down. It gives me a blocker for the Snow Doggy next turn, I guess. Yeah, we might as well just block it. If the opponent throws me. Okay, so the opponent threw me a Kaelin here. We have two options. We can get rid of the Teemo right now. And then still play this. And I think that's probably okay. We block this. We block this no Doggy with this Cutter. So here's where the Flash Rooms become really annoying. Right? So the Flash Rooms become annoying because now the opponent is going to be able to just get rid of my unit slowly. Um, if we had the spirit, spirit portal, that would actually be really good. Cool, it's not a spirit portal, but it is a Lulu. Here I am. So we can at least attack with Lulu. Kind of get ourselves a lot of damage into the opponent. I guess if the opponent plays the 4 drop, do I care? I don't think I care. We're trying to raise them down, so let them sacrifice and kill the Lulu. They're still taking 6 damage. So if they're taking 6 damage Three here, they're going down to 8, this takes them down to 5, this takes them down to 2, so we just need 2 more burn. Because obviously we know that we're going to more or less guarantee the Jinx level up, like get at least a rocket out of it. I won't have any, burn, any more units. This is interesting. <laughs> this is interesting now. There was a little fellow asking for me. Because I kind of... I kind of want to play this gents, but at the same time I kind of don't want to play this gents. I guess we'll just go here for now. I mean, we have to get excited to, to get where we need to be, right? To get the burn. What if we do play gents? What if we play gents here? Well, both of you are visiting headquarters. We have double get excited, but we can only use one of them. We can go like this. And what this means, by the way, is that if the opponent kills my gens, I can actually get this gens to come down and be leveled up. So if the opponent commits like double mystic here, we will actually be in a better position than, than if they left her alive. Because it will let me get the rocket from that second gens. We can also just wait for the draw. Okay, yeah, we just wait for the draw. It's very unlikely for us to get all five flash bombs on the gens. So we'll just wait for the draw, play this gens, get the rocket, and that's gonna be the sixth burn. Let's investigate. Perfect. Yeah, I mean I'm I'm completely okay with this, my friend. I'm a okay with this. Um Yeah, let's go like this. We get the rocket, we get the, we get the Star Guardian level up. I blinked out this deck for you guys. We have the Star Guardian board, the Star Guardian Jins, we have the Star Guardian Lulu. Blinked it all out for you guys. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Even have the car back going on. Is there a Star Guardian 
body? Uh, maybe there is. Okay. There is one way that the opponent can actually kill us here, by the way. If they go for the draw spell and they get enough to actually level up Caitlyn and do enough damage to kill us. Right? So that, that is... I should have actually blocked this Caitlyn instead of blocking the Snow Doggy. That's one, that's one less damage we have taken. So, I mean, it's, it's not impossible. It's not impossible for the opponent to actually get there now. Because... Yeah. Okay, yeah. So we took an extra damage for no reason. The opponent is, the opponent is going for it. This is the correct play. This is the correct play. So that's six. So that's six. So six. Examining the evidence. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Two more and we lose. Practice, as they say, makes perfect. Yeah, two more and we lose. Two more traps and we lose here. Or one more puff cap at least. And that's enough. Yeah, that's exactly twelve. So that's exactly twelve for them to kill us, right? Yep. GG's. No, nope. and that that one damage mattered. That that was on me. That one damage of not of of uh of not blocking the Kaelin actually ended up mattering. So that was just my misplay. So please. in this match, we're gonna get the game. Game. Yeah. Uh, it's funny because they're both kind of spelled very similarly, right? Um. I always like keeping one moon baboon. Let's see if we can find this Lulu. Or if we can find the spirit portal. Those are like a really strong cards here. But we don't get either one. <laughs> so I guess we'll start here. And we'll play Boomba Boom next turn. And then we'll play Squeaker onto the um, onto the Chumpers, right? To get excited. Could be worse. Okay. We go here. Is this worth an extra damage or do we just push five here? I think we just push five. I think we just push five. I don't think it's worth sacrificing our chumpers this Demons early. Walk among us, masquerading right? as men. So we'll go like this. The trunk treasure I think is actually kinda of crazy. Because we're gonna have a really wide board here with this uh with this jury rig, etc. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I like I'm liking this. Um we have an option Good here. We could just Garlic works we could just kill this Bane, to be honest. And that's one less blocker. Might seem counterproductive. The other option is that we can just go ahead and play here. We can also just play Gents. I guess I'm concerned about Fish Fire, right? If we play the Gents. Yeah, we can go like this. We can go like this first. Let's see what we get. We're still probably going to go for this Trump Tetra next turn. I'm down to give up a gents here. Yeah, let's let's go like this. Let's force the opponent to lose the tumble and lose a blocker. I wanna see what they do here. If they give me a card to protect this vein. Okay, yeah, that's I mean I guess that saves it. He still loses to the uh, to the chumpers by the way. Yeah, I'm cool, I'm cool with this. So he's still losing to the chumpers, because again we're just gonna go trunk treacher. Go like this. Everything gets plus one, plus one. Only gets the keeper. Attack everywhere else. Soup's on. Your head. They are they are gonna give me the trade here. They still go to four HP by the way, and we still have another get excited, and we also have gents. Okay, so they get to heal a little bit more. And they get to keep their their elusive alive. Ah, not the elusive, the life still alive. I guess they're gonna just put the equipment on her and just go that way. But we do have this get excited that's gonna be able to punish that. Yeah, you're gonna have to have you're gonna have to have a spell to protect her. Okay, well, I guess you just lose them, right? Yeah, we just go like this. With one mana, there should be nothing that the opponent has. Yeah, we ended up top decking the burn, so it ends up not mattering. There shouldn't be any one mana strikes that they have, and nothing else, so we just burned them out. We literally had to discard both pieces this game, which is kind of funny. So... GG's. Hey, welcome back everyone. Hope you enjoyed those games of Gents and Lulu. 
so again very aggressive right just just what you need to do just push a ton of pressure into the opponent we had a really weird long game against that at least elder dragon deck but you kind of had to play for your outs right you have to play for your outs and just understand what the opponent needs to win the game and try to look for your burn after that right we did get lucky with that one experimenter draw but aside from that it was like hey let, let's drop down this gents let's get that rocket value that level of value it sounds like the opponent actually didn't have that second death grind so i probably could have dropped this gents earlier in that matchup but it's a it's just there's a potential that it could have just gone for like an atrocity to kill this gents to be honest uh but yeah so ended up kind of getting a lot of value here with this with with that there we did lose that game against that Kalen player and that was just entirely my misplay right like if i would have blocked the Kalen correctly that one damage that we have saved actually would have mattered not only that but i also had no reason to commit all in as soon as the opponent attack i could have just block with gents and let the opponent do something first right block with gents and block with the with the chumpers and once the opponent goes all in then i can go all in right by showing them my hand early on he allowed the opponent to just go all in because if i had blocked with gents i guarantee you that they would have probably just tried to kill the gents instead instead of trying to go for lethal so another mistake there on my part that could have definitely won me those games but the other games were pretty straightforward just again a bunch of aggression into the opponent you saw us even beating that senna any player even through all the heals that they had in terms of mulligan i do like keeping gents i think gents is very important to keep in your hand and then usually you want to find some discard fodder right so you want to have some like chumpers or something similar that you can that you can discard because we do have a lot of cards that require for us to discard something so the Jota Squire giving us some discard fodder the baboons or just straight up getting the chumpers are the things that you're looking for uh, in the early game so gents discard fodder and then I also don't mind keeping Lulu so that's kind of the things that you want for the most part to just get started and start putting pressure into the opponent at the end of the day though you do want to keep most of your early units and then just kind of kick most of your spells away um, and just put pressure with the units first and then get the spells later into the game that's really going to be your general mulligan and your general strategy with this deck remember that the lulu plus chumpers is such an amazing combo that's really the whole reason we're playing lulu in this deck so don't forget to take advantage of that whenever possible when you can um and yeah that's that's going to be it for us for this deck breakdown and this showcase of lulu jinx in eternal hope you enjoyed today's video if you did, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post card game videos every single day. You can also join our channel and become a member. We have two tiers, gladiators and champions, each one with the different perks. Check that out in the description below or in the join button. That's the subscription button. You can also find us on Twitch at Twitch Atomo. We stream every now and then. And you can also find us on Discord and Twitter. The links to those are both in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all again tomorrow.